Hello to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's time for your tropical forecast and update on what's happening out there in the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, the Atlantic, and of course in the Eastern Pacific. We actually have some breaking news as of the latest advisor. We have a tropical storm in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Just a few minutes ago, this was just a disturbance that the National Hurricane Center was monitoring, but it's this area here. I want to explain the background of the two systems that I'm monitoring first. Of course, we did have Julia, which blew up, became a hurricane and made landfall in Central America around the Nicaragua area over the weekend. Then it weakened to a tropical storm yesterday, then a tropical depression, and then it was just the remnants of Julia. However, there were a couple of chunks of Julia, if you will, that kind of broke off and went their separate ways. So one chunk went up towards the Yucatan Peninsula and became this system, which is now Tropical Storm Carl, and the other chunk kind of went off to the south and southwest, and that one one now has at least a small chance of development as well in the eastern Pacific. So we kind of have some interesting things going on in the tropics. But more importantly, we now have a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico. I've been talking the last several days about how the sea surface temps are on the warm side still for much of the Gulf. Those waters in the 80s for most of the Gulf of Mexico. So that means a lot of fuel and rapid development possible with these systems that develop. So this is the disturbance that we were monitoring right around the Bay of Campeche in the southern Gulf of Mexico, and it continues to become and look a little more impressive out there. We've got the big area of showers and storms, that area of low pressure starting to develop and get more organized, and we did have a very high chance just as of a few minutes ago that we were going to have this system develop and into either a depression or a tropical storm. There was about an 80% shot of that. And as of this latest advisory that just came out, we now have a tropical storm. So here it is, tropical storm Carl, Maximum sustained winds at this point are at 40 miles per hour, and we've got movement off to the northwest at 6 miles per hour pressure. Holding steady at this point right at 1,008 millibars, and it is in the Bay of Campeche, as I mentioned, in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, but that movement is off to the north and west. So you may be wondering, is this going to roll right up and hit Houston? Well, on its current track, it looks like it would, but we do have a cold front moving down, and just basically what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere will not allow this system to keep moving in our direction. It's actually going to get kicked off to the west and eventually the southwest. So landfall likely by Friday morning in central and southern portions of Mexico. So I think we will get some moisture from the system, more clouds, and it will help to increase our rain chances, but I don't think we're talking about any major or direct impacts from Tropical Storm Carl. So here is that track that I have put on this graphic for you. At this point, I think by 1 p.m. Wednesday, we're talking about a 50 mile per hour tropical storm movement still off to the northwest. But then notice that curve to the west and then the southwest Thursday and Friday. Thursday afternoon around 1 p.m., a 45 mile per hour tropical storm is still forecast to be at least a semi strong tropical storm. We're not forecasting it to become a hurricane. I don't think it's going to be over water long enough to get that strong and it's going to be encountering some shear as well. So by Friday early 1 AM forecast has this getting close to making landfall in Mexico, that east coast of Mexico. This is going to be east of Mexico City as a 40 mile per hour tropical storm. So overall, impacts will likely be some very heavy rain, maybe several inches of rain for parts of Mexico that could lead to some flash flooding and of course some stronger wind gusts that could do a little damage, but I don't expect any widespread wind damage with this. So that is some good news. So we are going to be closely monitoring tropical storm Carl. There are the sea surface temps that I mentioned. That water is still very warm. Most of the Gulf water still in the low to middle 80s. So that acts as that fuel to help to strengthen these systems. So as of a few minutes ago, we now have Carl, which is a tropical storm. If we do get another system to develop in the Gulf or in the Caribbean or Atlantic, its name would be Lisa. Then we've got Martin and then Nicole. So hopefully we won't have to go too far down on this list because we want things to be quiet to wrap up our hurricane season. But it looks like the season continues to churn and these systems keep popping up. Now I want to slide over to the eastern Pacific because we've got that other chunk of what's left of Julia that is trying to develop as well. So this is a disturbance in the eastern Pacific on the other side of Mexico. It's pushing out into the open water now and you can notice the bright colors there showing those 
showers and storms, some of those brighter, colder cloud tops indicating those thunderstorms blossoming in the atmosphere and developing. So if we start to see a more well-defined center of circulation here, this would likely become Rosalind. It could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm and possibly even a hurricane. So this one is not going to head in our direction, but we could still get some of that moisture, some of that Pacific moisture pulled back in our direction as this develops. But here is the disturbance. It's got about a 20% shot for developing at this point, so not a high chance for development. And movement at this point is off to the west northwest. So we've got one system in the southern Gulf. We've got one system in the eastern Pacific. And of course, we will be tracking them both very closely. I want to put our computer model plots on here, our spaghetti models, and show you where this is headed. It's basically tracking off to the west northwest. And if it develops, as I mentioned, it could become Rosalind, which is the next name on the list for the Pacific hurricane season. So there it is. Rosalind could be in our near future, but it likely will not be hitting us. But of course, as always, we are closely tracking everything that's going on. And yes, we now have a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico. But as I mentioned, don't worry, it's not headed here. We're not going to have a direct impact from it, but some of that moisture will head here. But in case you want to know more about the tropics if you're wondering what's going on with our forecast locally what do you need to do make sure you have the fox 26 weather app downloaded on your phone on your tablet great tool to have we've got a couple of stronger fronts moving in better rain chances rolling in for the next couple of days and early next week so you're going to need that fox 26 weather app so you can keep track of that radar wherever you are and also don't forget to check me out on twitter facebook and instagram ramisha shade tv ramisha shade weather and at ramisha shade on instagram of course tune in this evening at 5 6 and 10 p.m 9 p.m as well we'll have more updates on what's happening with your weather and the latest on that track of our newly developed tropical storm carl have a great evening